I think the KU STAB program provides an extremely unique opportunity to be able to immerse yourself in a new culture as well as explore new and exciting research opportunities. And so over the course of the program I've formed many new relationships that I'll look forward to uh, continuing and nurturing and um, it really makes me feel like my opportunities have expanded um, beyond what I previously felt going into this program. Through my research I've been able to come in contact with many new and exciting equipment. My research method can be separated into three main parts including synthesis of the catalytic species, analysis following the synthesis and after this testing for catalytic reduction potential. In the synthesis part, my work is very mainly based on the glove boxes at our lab, which I'm very privileged to be able to use, and it's been a very new and exciting experience for me. My supervisor has been very supportive, and I've been able to learn a lot at my lab with my peers as well. The analysis part has allowed me to come in contact with nuclear magnetic resonance equipment, as well as X-ray crystallography equipment, which are all very new to me and would not have been I would not have had the opportunity to use these equipment if I didn't participate in this program. After this was the catalytic testing and this was performed under nitrogen atmosphere as well. So under the supervision of Associate Professor David Croydon, um, we have been looking at problems concerning the behaviour of networks and how these uh, certain properties of these networks change as they get larger and scale upwards. Um, and so particularly we have been looking at a uh, quantity called the cover time of a network and we analyse how this cover time evolves and uh, grows as networks become larger and larger. Um, the research has been very interesting and Associate Professor David Croydon has been a great mentor for this program. Um, and it's been very interesting to get a taste for what international research is like um, in a different context to what I've experienced at UniMelb so far. My research included performing protein purification as well as different types of gel electrophoresis from scratch. And I was essentially measuring changes in charge to infer whether our protein of interest targets a number of other proteins and I've learnt a lot of techniques and I've been able to use a lot of new equipment. I felt at home in my lab. There was a range of domestic and international students and it was really interesting getting to know everyone and learning new cultural perspectives and they were all really helpful and supportive. Even though everyone had their own projects going on, I enjoy that our lab had weekly seminars for people to present their recent work and receive feedback. My research uh, consists of me uh, observing the behavioral differences between captive uh, birds and free living birds. My research uh, requires me to sort of head towards uh, Kyoto City Zoo and look, observe ibises and cranes there and compare the behavioral frequencies uh, to free living gray herons near Wakamo River. Current outcomes is that we see that there is a behavioral differences in uh, feeding and resting as well as mobility um, with herons being more herons being uh, resting more often compared to cranes and heron, uh, ibises which tend to feed and move due to being more energetic. What I've learned from my time here is that animal behavioral studies, as well as just any ecological science, um, requires you to be passionate and creative um, in venturing out and sort of observing and going, spending most of your time outside and doing the work yourself. Uh, Kyoto University provides me with quite a lot of freedom to do so. And I would encourage you to really make the most of your time, getting all the wisdom you can from your supervisor and your peers as well as using your free time to explore Japan because it's a really beautiful place. Um, 
I highly recommend that you, if given the opportunity, as well as having a passion for Japanese culture and everything around it, uh, to give this program a try. And you won't regret it.